Alright, how's it going guys? It's Mr Scott7 and today we're seeing if a 99 rated Scotland team could win the World Cup. I've done a couple of what is for NBA 2K so I thought I should bring one to FIFA. And yeah, Scotland really don't have the best when it comes to the World Cup. I mean, we've not qualified for one since 1998. That was before I was born. So in my lifespan, I'm 18, I'm 18. So in my lifespan, Scotland have never qualified for the World Cup. How terrible is that? But yeah, well, let's do this. Okay guys, here's the squads. James Forrest. Squads, should you say squad? By the way, there's all 99. By the way, this is not a this isn't the actual like any squad. Like we just had an international games in real life. This isn't the full squad. They're just done random. Same with the teams in the cup, I just done random. Maybe I should take a goalkeeper on the bench. Probably better. Okay guys. Let's have a look at the teams in the World Cup. Okay guys, here's Group A and that is a tight group. I mean, Brazil, Portugal, Austria and Scotland. Well, in real life, you'd think, yeah, probably Brazil and Portugal. But, oh, we've got a 99 over 80 team. And plus, Austria have still got David Alba. I know, he's, he can't win it all one team, but he's like the saviour in that team. Ecuador, Ireland, Chile and Russia. That's a tough one. Like, I really see... I think Ireland and Chile, but Russia might be a game. So could Ecuador. Yeah, decent team. And you've got Northern Ireland. I see France and Colombia walking that, really. Don't know what I can say. Wales, Italy, Australia, Czech Republic. I see Wales and Italy, obviously, but Czech Republic might give them a game. That is a tough one to call. Like uh, Uruguay, Poland, Argentina. Any of them can make it through. Denmark's a bit meh. But yeah, again, I, see, I remember, well, also I don't remember, but like 19, was it no 1992? Nobody gave them a chance and they ended up going on to win the Euros. So you never know. Yeah, just see Belgium and Sweden. Maybe United States if you get if they get lucky. This one. Oh my god, that is hard to call. You've got England, Germany, Mexico and Spain. Holy shit, what a group. If I had to give my prediction... I would say Germany and Spain. Maybe Mexico. I don't see England going through that, I really don't. That's a tough one as well. Switzerland, Shakiri and that. Kiki, yeah, game. Netherlands. They've been shit recently, to be fair. And Peru. It's getting a bit. They, they always seem to turn up big tournaments. Not like get far or anything, but they always seem to have, like, have a good game. And that's it, that's the teams. And our first game is against Brazil. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. First game in this World Cup, Scotland vs Brazil. Oh my god. Man, why why are they not playing oh why is Neymar on the bench? I was gonna say that and why is Firmino on the bench as well? James Forrest. Why is Marcelo on the bench? What is this? Uh no disrespect to the guy, but Marcelo's ten times better than Philip Louise. But why are they not playing Neymar? That's the the worst part. James Forrest with a double. We go through. Well, no go through, we win, I should say. And Portugal beat Austria. And of all people, Joe Ledley attack was gonna. Sorry, just having a look. I know it's the World Cup, but it says we're away, and you always get beat when you're away in FIFA, it's just a weird thing. Why? Uh, what, no, why have they get... Oh, Jump Snodgrass, they've noticed that. Why have they get David Alba on the bench now? Oh, not if he's just playing. Fair enough, but where's... He's the best left back in the world. But why are these big teams leaving off the best players? Lee Griffiths. Skip it. Oh, fucking hell, 2 1. I meant, I meant to go into the tables. Let's have a look at the tables. Brazil look cute. Brazil look like they know anything. But if we beat Portugal, they've got a chance. I like Portugal. And now what? 
Was, why is Ronaldo in the mention? I don't get this. We turned on four now. Hey, I don't pick the other team's squad. We made it through. Who's that? Who's gonna? James Forrest. Boom. I'm Lee Griffiths, to be fair. Guys, these were the group stages. This is how it finished. Brazil ended up going through, and because we beat Portugal, they ended up. It. We actually, we only see the one goal. It was against Austria. Austria just lost three games. That already didn't really do anything. Wow, Russia and Ecuador, Chile. Oh my God, they lost it. Goal difference. I heard were horrible, but oh, they lost it with a goal. Fucking hell, lucky Chile. Colombia and France, yeah. Hungary was on. I Hungary was unlucky. Oh, where else is it? That's a surprise. Czech Republic, another point. Australia just lost it. Uruguay and Argentina. That was a close one. Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't a close one. I said I thought. I meant to say I expected it to be a close one. It wasn't. It just five points in it. Just really wasn't. Denmark, get a point. <laughs> Argentina and Uruguay are through. Belgium and United States. Oh my god, Sweden's it. I was quite sure I predicted Sweden and Belgium. Doji. I knew England won to get through. Spain and Germany, fair enough. But I just thought Mexico were going to finish higher than England. Man, yeah, it's better to prove it unlucky. Back to our group. Right, let's. Here's how the knockout stages look Brazil, we've got Colombia. I think that's France and the Netherlands. I think it is. USA and Uruguay. Ecuador and that's Colombia. Fuck my day. Colombia and Switzerland. Scotland and Spain. Argentina and Germany. Oh, that'll be some game. Rematch for the 2014 World Cup. Czech Republic and Belgium and I don't know if Italy. I don't, I can't, I don't know if that's Slovakia or Slovenia. Anyway, more real good with flags in it. Actually, was Ecuador? I was right. Boom. Sorry for my shit hanging with flags. Because I'm used to the. Cause you see, when it comes to football, I'm used to the badges. And because they don't really have the license to some of them, they don't get it. Clean off is straight off the bat. Boom. I thought Ramos had scored there. Imagine if Scotland did win the World Cup. I mean, we've not qualified since 1998. We did go undefeated in the World Cup in 78, but we needed to beat Holland with three clear goals and we won 3 2 that game. So obviously we did get through. We've um we've never made it by the group stages. So we've already went by we've already better than any Scotland team ever. Oh no, we're up against the mighty Germany in the quarterfinal. That's actually something. I don't know why Botex on the bench though. Is any team is any other team gonna stop the Scotland team? I don't see it. It's sad when you say that, when you think of the fact that Chris Martin's on the bench and we'll do 10 men. We won, but we. I guess we call it a scrape through, man. A lot of our games have been. Apart from maybe Austria, a lot of games have been 2, 3, 4, 0. No. This one's been fucking 1 0. No. Czech Republic? Maybe I should get uh, maybe I should get updates on the fucking other teams. Where am I going? Here's here, Brazil and Uruguay. Ch Czech Ecuador got far, to be fair. Hard to believe on all of that, only two two away teams won there. And it was Brazil and Czech Republic, or the, way, or the, or the Holmes won. Wow, the, just so you know, this if this is the 20, this would never be the 20, uh, the 2018, I forgot about that one. 2018 World Cup, that will never be it. That will never be the final four. Oh shit, we got an injury. Oh no, sorry, it's a suspension, I forgot.
with Chris Henley. I don't. Want, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I don't watch a lot of Scottish football. But I know. I know. I do know a lot about the players. Like Kieran Tierney is going to be amazing. Fe bright future. Robertson's quite good. I've heard James Forrest has went down a bit though. He's not me, not as good as he used to be. No saying he's a bad player, just heard he's not been as good up to his potential. Two out with Brazil. Could we meet Brazil in the final? We haven't even made it yet. Wow, Czech Republic's making this a tough game. But Stuart Armstrong, I thought they'd scored. I just jumped when I, I thought they'd scored. Stuart Armstrong in the 84th minute takes us to the final. We're up against the. Oh my fuck, the windfall though. Let's see if a Scotland can do it. They're bringing Neymar out of the squad this time. Andrew Firmino. And Casmiro. Fucking hell, was that actually there some team? Oh my god, Neymar missed a penalty. Craig Gordon, what a G. Probably Sky didn't Rose the they would name that usually does. Need four game in the mailman. Continue. He should have started. And Scotland have won the World Cup. That's the end of the tournament. Obviously Lee Griffiths got player of the tournament. Boom. Well guys, it just shows the show if you top any team ninety nine they could pretty much win the World Cup. Because, yeah, I don't think Scott's got a chance really. We may not even qualify, but... I think we will qualify, but just... It's my bold prediction. We'll qualify, but we won't go far. Well, anyway, you guys, if you want to see me do any other teams netting in any other situation, just tell us below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this. I, I, don't, I doubt this will be a long video. But, yeah, Scotland can win if you put all your players up to 99. If you want them to win the World Cup, go and date now. And, yeah, see ya! And don't forget to subscribe.